What's up everyone, Sag here, bringing you another video today on the Immortal Peanut Army. So if you don't know, you can actually get peanuts onto seagull, and those, sea and those seagulls can actually spread the peanuts to your other pets. Pretty cool. Uh, the only problem though is that you have to pill a walrus and hope to god that it lands on your seagull. Now, in this game, I do get a little bit lucky, but there was a, um, there's a little bit of a method that you can use to, uh, not guarantee it, but increase your chances, I'll say. So, we're gonna start off this game pretty standard, it's on my tapier pack, so we've got a lot of, uh, faint units in it, but I still decide to go, um, a very classic start with, uh, moth, fish, goldfish, something to, to give me a bit value, um, in the early game, make sure that I can actually survive until the later game. Um, the, the steep discounts that you get with goldfish are always really, really nice. And, uh, we immediately pill onto goldfish there just to make sure that we get the level two. We're going to start, uh, buying some units pretty quickly. I probably should have froze the chinchilla because it would have been, uh, actually would have gained a gold from it because right now ev the first two pets in the shop will actually be only one gold doesn't matter too much though maybe we can get something on five hatching chick that's all right hatching chick is definitely a, a very good unit so we'll pick them up and yep right now all we're doing is looking for triples see an amazing uh, board there double fish we'll be able to get a level three fish very quickly and, um, yeah, I think right now we'll probably look for at least one seagull. We probably want to get one on the team just to make sure that we, uh, actually get them. Uh, sometimes when you're, when you're going for stuff like this, you'll end up on, like, turns, I don't know, 8, 9, 10, not find, uh, the, the actual pet that you needed. Um, unfortunately, we still don't find them on turn 5 or 6, but hopefully on turn 7, we can triple the last fish. Maybe get something good for five. Eagle would always be good. Um, trying to think of other fives that are in the pack. I have no idea. Cow. Cow's always good. Uh, we see a seagull there. Beautiful. Get a monkey too. We can probably uh, buff up our seagull just a bit with the monkey. I could have bought sold the pill bug flamingo, but uh, I didn't. It happens sometimes. See a lobster there. I love my boy lobster, so we're probably going to get him in there somehow. Uh, a crow. Crow is also very nice. We always have crow and blobfish in basically every single pack. I, I don't think there's a single pack that I have that doesn't include crow and blobfish, just because they're always good. It's just always good to have it. Um, if you have a pack that doesn't have crow and blobfish, well, you, you might not have those pets per se, but if you do have those pets, you have the ability to get those pets and you don't have them in, in your pack, you're probably doing something wrong. Because if you ever find a sloth, you you best believe that you want to have a blob and a crow in that pack. So, it's just always good to have them. Here we're able to get um, one and a half seagull. Uh, getting the level two seagull doesn't matter too, too much right now. Uh, however, when we do, when we're able to get uh, tier sixes, we'll probably want to get him pretty quickly. Double up on the lobster, too. We get actually get rid of monkey, uh, because I believe lobster is slightly better than monkey. However, it was a bit later. I feel like we could have kept monkey and not bought the other lobster. Not that it mattered that much. Um, now we're on nine, though. We can actually get some triples here, and beautiful. That's what I want to see, walrus. And um, spino is also really, really good for the team. Spino, walrus, seagull... Since we're going um, a bit of a faint team, Spino is going to be always good to have. Getting that extra buff, that 4-6 from Lobster is also insane. Uh, Could have got the snuck the turtle onto the team somehow, but I, there wasn't really enough room. And I know that I'm getting rid of... Um, what What is that guy called? Seahorse? I'm getting rid of Seahorse very, very soon. So, might as well get him out of there now. Definitely lose this one. Like, I had a massive duck, man. Ooh, and actually two seagulls and the chocolate. I am able to get a level three seagull here, but yeah, I think I think I do want to do it uh, in the hopes of getting another tier six. You know, what would be good is uh, tapir, 
Um, oh, Orca's amazing. That's also something that definitely needs to be on the team. Now what we're looking for, though, is a pill. And I'm going to come back to what I was saying earlier. And the way that you can actually make this a little more um, consistent, I'll say, is you actually need mushroom on your walrus. So instead of selling everything and just hoping to God that I get... Um, or us, instead of selling everything and, and guaranteeing that the, the peanut lands on the seagull, we'll just mushroom our walrus and continue mushroom pilling it until it lands on the seagull. However, we do get slightly luckier than that. We do find the mushroom and the pill, everything that we needed. So we're going to mushroom this bad boy now. Uh, position the seagull to make sure that uh, I know where exactly where it's going to land. Always goes in the back. That's why you put the seagull in the back. And then we immediately give the peanut to the walrus that we just pilled, which is pretty cool. And uh, now Seagull has two more charges left. However, it normally has three at level three. So it can give three units peanuts. Uh, pretty unreal, if you ask me. We, I try to do some positioning to, to change around, but it seems like the, the best positioning for now will be this. Getting a level three Spino. Um... But we will eventually change it to when we can have something a bit better. So we barely tie that too. That was really, really close. We have a lot of really close calls in this game. Um, however, we are going to switch it up, make it a bit more consistent. We really need an eagle um, or tapir. Tapir or eagle would be better. But I think eagle is slightly better than tapir because tapir can just get you like another seagull. And I don't really want that. I would much rather have uh, an eagle as a chance to, um, you know, just have more units pop out. Um, as you can see, we also play the Spino regularly, so it immediately gives the peanuts to um, our Spino that's already on board when we combine them. Um, now we can get our Tapir in, and Tapir is good for this turn for sure. Uh, it has a chance of getting us like Octo, uh, another Orca, something like that. Or sorry, not Octo. It has a chance of getting another Orca. We do get a Spino, though. And that's why I think it's just better to have Eagle on the team. But yeah, absolutely crazy. We're getting some, some pretty nutty peanut action here. And yeah, we're just going to keep looking, looking for the Eagle. There could have been something slightly better, I think. But basically anything that you want popping out of Eagle is going to get... Uh, peanuts, so you don't want to waste it on like a deer or something. Um, and here, kind of uh, messes with our order, but we have so many guys. Um, Spino works out fantastic here, because uh, with the level 3 Orca with Mushroom, you actually get 4 things and another Orca, which means you're getting absolutely insane stats from uh, Spino. And now with the level 2 White Tiger, we can get Eagle and Orca to level 3, which is pretty nutty. And basically everything that comes out is going to get Peanuts. Uh, kind of unstoppable. This is actually a really low statted team too. Look at that. Everything below 15-15 and it's turn 14. Of course Peanuts uh, kind of does that though. You don't really need stats. But you do need to live. So a Snipe team would basically take us out uh, hard. As you can see, like a Snipe team... He's not even a snipe team. He just has one level two links. Almost completely takes us out. Thank goodness, though. Didn't take out our Orca. Orca is uh, our saving grace for sure. And look how big Spino gets. Almost a 50-50. And we are just barely able to win that round. Uh, but overall, this was super fun. Getting Peanuts on Seagull and then just getting an Immortal Peanut Army is absolutely awesome. Uh, so definitely try it out for yourself. Because it's super fun, super unique, and all around it's probably pretty infuriating for the team. But it's super funny for you when you come up to a team like this. Full stats and you just dominate them with peanuts. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you did. And you know what? Have a beautiful day.